Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Foundations of Engineering 1, Chapter 2 Ethics class. Before we go to the Chapter 2 Ethics, uh, let's review your lab number 1. Which company you want to go? So, this semester is the fall semester of 2017. Uh, let's review a little quickly which company you want to go. So, one student says, Oh, I want to go Lockheed Martin Company. And some students said NASA, FBI, Ford Motor Company, Pretty and Whitney, General Motors, Tesco. Okay, so we have a 17 students today, and every student have a different. Every student has a different uh, goal. Okay, which is very impressive. Uh, navigation, navigator, engineer services, NES. Okay, how about let's look at the fall of 2016. Uh, in 2016, I taught the same class and I asked the same question which company you want to go? There were 70 students. So, based on the survey, let's I made uh, some graph. Okay, so the first portion, big portion. Um, among the 70s students, 20% of students said, Oh, I want to go automobile company, such as Ford, GM, and the Motors Company. The other group, yeah, it's around 20% of students, they want to go oil company. Um, so, as you probably know, Texas is well known as um, and well known for the oil company. Oil industry is doing great job. So BP is one of the great um, company. Third group, many students, almost twenty percent of students want to go airplane and spaces. The NASA, and Boeing company, and the other four twenty sixteen sixteen percent of students want to go military like Lockheed Martin. Fifteen students want to go electronics. Apple, Microsoft, and 8% want to go to the internet company, Face, Google, 5% want to go uh, energy, and the others want to go Walt Disney, and the ones want to go company they want to go. So let me make a conclusion. Everyone has a clear goal and a clear job. Uh, Students, they are well understand which co which courses they have to take to enter their uh, goal and their companies. Okay, and uh, some students describe the, the reason why they choose this company first. The number five, uh, patriotism. So some students selected the Lockheed Martin company because they want to build our United States much stronger in terms of military and weapons things like that so patriotism one of the reason 5% yeah locations and my family work there it's, yeah I think it's a good reason to select uh, the company your future career great working environment 15% I like working with smart people, it's a kind of main reason. High reputation, this job is most prestigious jobs in that area, such as Apple and Google, things like that. And the, the, the biggest one, 50%, almost half of students say that, oh, I'm very interested in the, this job and it will be very fun and I have enthusiasm on that work, so 50%. So what I wanted to say as a professor, don't forget your enthusiasm, okay? Don't forget your enthusiasm. Um, so this is our lab number one. If some of you couldn't attend the last class, uh, please review this instruction and submit your lab number one uh, by email to me. Just email me. It's okay. That was the first class, so it's totally okay. I understand that if you miss that class, it's fine. Just submit your lab number one to my uh, to me. Send send it to me as a via email. Okay. And there was uh, also homework number one. Prepare a one-page resume 
and submit this homework uh, through Blackboard by this Wednesday, okay, January 25th. All right, let's go to the chapter two ethics. Uh, before we go detail, let's talk about a movie uh, in 2016. The title was Deep Water Horizon. Um, it was the one of the recently I watched the movie in airplane. <laughs> um, it's uh, dealing with the one of the uh, biggest accident in oil spill uh, in the United States history. In 2010, April 20, in the Gulf of Mexico, there was a huge oil spill uh, happened. And the 11 people were missing or never found. Um, yes, it was considered as the largest accidental marine oil spill in the history. Okay, um, so you can see the map on the right side. There is um, in between Florida and Texas. You can see the huge oil spill. If you saw this movie, I don't want to spoil the movie, but uh, if you saw the movie, if you see the movie, you will realize um, ethical uh, some decision or some if you make uh, some decision that can cause very serious accidents, um, especially in this kind of a very dangerous uh, working places. You have to be follow uh, any single steps uh, based by coded by law. Or some, you have to follow the protocol and everything. Make sure you have to be very meticulous uh, to avoid these situations. Okay. So if you haven't had a chance to watch this movie, just see the movie. You will learn the, how the decision making is important in in the engineering field. So today, learning goal. We have three running goals. First, know the importance of ethical decisions. Second, why we try to make ethical decision. The last one, how, how to make an ethical decision. So, know importance of ethical decision. How, to, uh, why is it important, and how to make an ethical decision. Okay, three things. Uh, rule number code. This is the Urunamo code. You can see some word on the stones. Uh, I believe that it was, um, as far as I know, this is the earliest code. It was uh, uh, invented by invented around the BC 2000s. So, for example, if you kill a man, then you will be killed. Okay, you must be killed. If a man committed a crime, robbery, he must be killed. Okay, this is a. Uh, uh, strongest I've ever seen the code. So this is too harsh or too barbaric. This was a uh, 2000, around the 2000 years in BC. Okay. How about right now? How about these days? Oh, we are living in 2017, but uh, still there are many corruptions happen, for such as bi bribery. Uh, according to the Transparency International 2015. They um, reported, they reported corruption perception index shortly CPI scores. So let's look at the CPI score. Before we go to the CPI score, which company do you think has the lowest CPI index? Well, some students think Sweden, Denmark, United States, New Zealand. Um, it's possible. So let's look at the map according to the Transparency International. They reported that if you see the very yellow, it's very clean in terms of a corruption. Very dark red is, hmm, have some serious issues in terms of corruption. So number one, number one was uh, Denmark. Denmark was ranked number one in terms of a corruption rate. United States as a 16. How about South Korea? <laughs> South Korea has a 40. And the North Korea has a 149. Okay. So
So even though we are living in the United States, it's very uh, welfare and uh, uh, great co uh, great country. But you may be face you may face some unethical issues when you go to the engineer when you go to the some companies. Okay. Let's look at the very simple um, ethical issues such as Methy. Okay. Maybe you can see these images. Uh, you can see this situation um, in the market parking lot. What is this? This is a plagiarism, right? Plagiarism is uh, ethically wrong, and this is very clear issues. Very clearly wrong issues, and the corruption. If you give some money to the clerk, and the clerk give you um, more than um, large amount of money than you expected, then what will you do? And during the exam, you can cheating, but cheating is absolutely wrong things. Uh, some ethical issue can cause serious uh, problems. So I guess most of you can drive a car, and when you drive a car, have you ever violated some traffic signals or a speed limit? I think most of you have some experiences. Uh, let's watch this small video, short video. Uh, it happened in South Korea. Well, um, it's very awful. But this um, this video is, I think, this is the worst uh, um, case I've ever seen in my life. The Nemecon driver he violated the traffic signals, and um, four people four people were dead at that spot. Okay, so sometimes it's uh, it's very uh, mild or in the the result is not too big, but sometimes if you violate the traffic signals, it can cause a serious problems. Okay? So, your ethical decision sometimes your ethical decision can lead to undesirable consequences. So, drive safe. Well, this is another example about ethical issue in the human subject experiment. Can you uh, find the differences between two images, the left and right? As you can see, on the right image, there are blur on their faces, so we don't recognize, we cannot recognize who it is. Okay? So during the human subject experiment, you have to protect the privacy of a human subject and you must have an informed consent form before you start the experiment because that's how we protect the uh, participants okay we must have to respect our participants um, you know my research area is human factors so human factors engineers they do a lot of experiment with humans okay we collect a lot of data from human subjects such as driving posture and uh, some um, motions, um, their biosignals. But we have to ask our participants first uh, before we start experiment whether they like it or not. Okay. So following question is why we have to make an ethical decision? There are two reasons. First, make the world a better place for everyone. Okay, and the second one is avoid unpleasant consequences, such as fines. You you don't want to go to jail, right? You don't you don't want to lose your job. So that is the main issues. Um, however, sometimes making ethical decision is uh, uh, 
not easy. Okay. Let me ask you something. Is this photo ethical? Um, this photo shows that a 15-year-old girl was shot, shot dead or when she um, was stealing something from the stores when the earthquake happened. So, um, this was taken by Paul. This is another photo taken by Carlos. The difference between two photos is, uh, you know, the, this dead body, the, her posture was changed, slightly changed, the, and the, the easier, you can see the pictures, the, you, you can see the, clearly see the flowers. We don't know who changed the posture, but we do know there are many photographs to take these photos, okay? If the photographer, if a photographer changed her posture to you know, take a best photo to express the best the, the, the moment, where well express the moment in these uh, uh, unpleasant circumstances. Um, is it ethical? Probably not. Okay. There is a code of actions for photographers, and this this um, act, this act is absolutely violated the rule code of ethics rule okay and another example is air pollution um, in in China there are many factories uh, and most of developing company developing countries they do have a lot of factories to you know growing economy but it, the growing economy is good things, but you know the, the, there is always a trade-off between the money and the environment. So factory always making some products, but making air pollution at the same time. In China, without mask, it can't be breathed because of uh, particle matter PM 2.5. PM stands for particular particulate matters, 2.5 microns or smaller. That means if you breathe this particulate matter, um, it can damage your throat. Okay, so this is a, a map shows how oil, uh, how air pollution uh, it is in China, South Korea, and Japan. You can see the bar at the bottom, PM two point five air pollution concentration. You can see the China, they have uh, around 20 to 300 level, which is a very unhealthy level. In Japan, it looks good. Korea, in between, like moderate. Okay. Same example, oil refinery owner's decision. Uh, you can, you can, as you can see the picture, there are small children and uh, there are oil pol air pollutions in the oil refinery business. Luckily, uh, Corpus Christi is uh, oil industry in uh, Corpus Christi is great, doing well, they're, they're, they are doing a great job. That's how, that's how we can make the money. But US Environmental Protection Agency, they released new air uh, standards in 2015. So the factory, they must invest money to the facility in order to prevent air pollutions okay because air pollution it can damage to our earth pollutant benzene such a dangerous uh, particle so company invest a lot of money but at the same time company have to let go many many employees because they invest a huge amount of money to the facility so they must have to um, lay off some employees so is this right or wrong is it ethically right or wrong we can save a word but we have to uh, lay off some employees it's kind of a dilemma okay then how to make an ethical decision some problems is very obvious it's ethically right or wrong but some 
issues are not clear to say yes this is right or this is no wrong um, so we have to know how to make ethical decision if we face some dilemma okay there are four step procedures that can help guide us in determining the most uh, the most ethical course of actions okay there are four steps first step is identify identify issues and the stakeholders issue is what is the issue uh, in this ethical moment ethical decision making moment and who's gonna be affected if you make some actions decisions the second step is analyze in this analyze step if you make some certain uh, act action then what is the consequence according to your action and what is your intentions and what is character what is the your um, what is the <coughs> your character will be affected what your character affected okay third step is justify so make a decision based on the identify and analyze fourth step is act with your decision so here is another example copy your roommate homework when I was an undergrad student I took six or seven courses per semester so I really didn't have a time to do the, all the homework it's really tough we have to do the time management very well but let's say if you don't have a amount of time or much time to finish the homework if you fail to submit the homework then you're gonna lose some grade or some if you get some F it's a serious issue but there is your uh, roommate your roommate already done so you can cheat in your roommate homework but is it ethically right or wrong obviously it's ethically wrong right mm, let's look at the this example using four step decision making process okay so first we need to identify identify uh, issues what is the issues in this case? Issue is copying homework and uh, uh, personal honesty is an um, uh, issue here. Who's gonna be affected? Yourself and your roommates. That's it, right? So we identify the issue and the stakeholders in this ethical uh, moment, okay? This is a moment. So this is a kind of what? what is going to be affected who is going to be affected okay the second step is kind of a how how it going to affect consequences consequences if you do this way what is the consequences if you decide okay i'm going to treating my roommate's homework then what is consequences your morality will be badly affected you may lose your roommate okay and you have to sometimes you have to look at carefully the magnitude of the consequences the level expected level of harm or benefit will occur and the most important question you may have to ask yourself is that does this action increase or decrease the happiness of the in affected individuals if your action can increase happiness of all people then that is the right action okay the right action means greatest good for the most of people in the X analysis step you have to think about intention or motivations so do you think everyone should act this way and another question is do I do I believe that this sort of behavior should be codified by law no no cheating is cheating is cheating okay how about the character so which kind of person you want to be you want to be a person who cheating your roommate's homework 
and uh, if you have some religion, you admire a person like um, uh, God, okay, Buddha. So you want to be the honest person, and Jesus and Buddha, they will not, they will never copy his roommate. Okay. Step three is convergence. As I said, is justify your decisions. Okay. Based on the uh, analysis, you have three result consequences: your intention and your character, how it's gonna be affected. Justify. You can say yes if uh, if the three result converged into the same way. You can say highly yes with a with a confidence. Okay, I will not copy my roommate's homework. In terms of consequences, intention, and character, there is nothing good for me. So, yes. How about no? It's a little tricky, um, not just the cheating the homework case, uh, if you face uh, some, you know, um, let's, let's go back to the oil refinery be, uh, owner's decisions, okay? If you can invest a lot of money to uh, prevent air pollution, but you have to let go some of the um, employees, okay? So in that case, you have to think about the weight. Okay, consequences, intention, character. You have to think about some weight, which portion is important in this circumstance. And uh, the rule of thumb is if two of three um, is converged, then you can say yes. You act on that way. Okay? The last uh, step is act your decisions. So when you do the act, you need courage. Okay? Do you have enough courage to do the act? make a decision, act. Although, you know, I'm not going to get a great score, or even if I got to fail, but I'm not going to cheat my roommate's homework because it's ethically wrong. Um, like I said, after you graduate and you enter the company in your working place, you may face a lot of ethical uh, decision-making situations because uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, conflict of interest, um, confidentiality issues, uh, contact, contract law issues, okay? But don't worry, if you face some issues, you have to apply, you can apply this four-step ethical decision-making procedure and so you can some overview you can have some overview about um, the ethical uh, issues you may face. And it doesn't hurt to find your supervisor or manager and ask their opinion before you act. Okay? You should ask your supervisor before you act. Alright, uh, there is a homework. Number two, ethical dilemmas. So like I said, if you um, just imagine if you are working in the, some company like Apple or Google General Motors, Ford Motor Company, you may face some ethical decision, uh, ethical dilemma, okay? It's not right or wrong dilemma. It's very um, confused, confused and it's very uh, hard to make uh, decisions. So list five ethical dilemmas you may face in your workplace and apply four step decision making process make a decision based on the four step ethical decision making process deadline is next monday submit your homework on blackboard today we learn the importance of ethical decision and second why we try to make ethical decision and third one is how to make an ethical decision Thank you for watching this short video and have, see you next, see you this Wednesday.